What is up my fellow gamers? In today's video we got our best beginner's guide and codes for the brand new official global launch of Mythic I can't pronounce the last part of it. Sam Kaku Coke Cock Geek K O K Sam Cook. I don't know. These, these names in this game, man, they're tough to pronounce. I also haven't seen really a lot of English speaking people playing this game, but I got some coupon codes to go over and some tips and tricks because this is a pretty cool game once you jump into it. I, I'm digging it so far. First thing we're gonna do is go over our coupon code. So we're gonna go in our top left corner where our little avatar icon is and we're gonna go over to our gift code. Now we got a bunch to enter and there are expiration dates so I will mention those as we go through these. First code is gonna be XJLYDP7Z. We're gonna get some artifact forging stones and some recruitment vouchers. This code is gonna expire on April 15th. It's already April 9th right now for Global Launch Day. So you got a couple more days to enter this one. Next code is gonna be YGG3Q8N7. I'm not sure if they are case sensitive, but the way they are posted in the Discord, they are case sensitive in the Discord. So just be mindful of that. It is a little G and then a capital G. We'll go ahead, we'll click confirm on this. We got a ton of different jades. Also some more recruitment vouchers. This code is also going to expire April 15th. Next code is YGYR6BZV. Keep in mind that the first Y is lowercase and it looks like all the rest of the letters are all uppercase. Click confirm on this one and we got some stones and treasure maps. This is also expiration date April 15th. Next one is gonna be a special one for the Discord Facebook group members. Four join four group. We're gonna click confirm. We got refining stones, some treasure maps. This one is gonna expire April 30th. All right, and the last one we got is YQZD5N5. Some of these are lowercase, some of these are uppercase. The uppercase is the first Y and then that Z. The rest of them are lowercase. We'll click confirm. And we got some more stones and treasures as well. And this one is going to expire April 30th as well. All right, so the first thing I wanna go over, and I had to screen record this from my tablet, and that is gonna be once you clear stage two, seven, you will get access to choose which faction you wanna have or which faction you wanna get some free characters from. These are our options. Now, from what I understand and what I've noticed is it doesn't seem like this is like a huge importance on who you choose. But basically what it means is whichever faction you choose, you're gonna get two characters from that faction right off the bat to start with. However, you don't need to specifically build out that faction. Like you're not locked into just that faction. You can pretty much get most of, I think all the characters from the gotcha system from summoning. So even if you go ahead and let's say you choose the woo, the red woo, or the, the blue we or way, however you say these, I can't pronounce these, but if you choose the red or the blue, and then you're like, oh, I don't wanna build that out. Maybe I wanna build out the purple or the green. You can get the other characters from summoning. So you can get all the characters from what I understand from summoning. There isn't like exclusive. So the four different ones we have, they all have kind of different play styles. Now you'll see at the bottom, a lot of people are choosing the woo, the, the red faction right here. You got 374 people chose this. I'm in the global launch server too, if you're wondering which server I am in, because there's a, a lot of international servers for this. This game has been in beta for quite some time. So there's a bunch of different servers. People have been playing this game for a while, but I'm in the brand new global launch server. So we have all kinds of new events and things going on. But this is what everyone's kind of typically saying to pick is the Red Woo because they are the biggest damage dealers very, very early on in the turns. So what that means is the first like one through three turns, the Woo faction is kind of just like destroying everyone. They're kind of like nuking. They put out a lot of damage those first couple turns. After that though, they're, they're really bad. So if you're not like one shotting or two shotting the enemy within those first three turns, then you really fall off. So the Wu hits really hard. They're super overpowered, but they're not like, you shouldn't like 
pick them because you think like they're the best. They're not like the best. You can counter them fairly well with the Wii, which focuses Wii way, however you want to say it, the blue group by focusing on doing stuns and lots of CC crowd control effects. What I did was I personally chose the blue group right here because I like the play style of disabling my enemies, doing a lot of crowd control abilities. And I think this is the more free to play friendly option is the blue. The red one is a little bit more if you're gonna be spending some money because I know it is a bit tougher to kind of power up these characters. Like they're super, super strong, but you have to really power them up and the game has a lot of like pay to win features where if you're not really spending money, you're not gonna be able to fully utilize the red faction's power. As far as the green, the green's all about doing lots of like timed attacks together. So kind of every time they're all like linked together and they do a lot of damage. So that one's fairly fun to play, but this is like the second most picked out of the four and then the final one is the purple which they can do things like putting burning effects freezing effects and what they're doing is they're trying to stack status effects on enemies and then once an enemy has like burn and freeze and all these different things on them it then goes ahead and it triggers like a special big attack on them like a special uh, damage effect on them and then they just take lots of damage aside from that one of the typical things is to go ahead and add people as friends just add a bunch of random people who are going to be active by adding people to your friends list you can go ahead and you can send due to them and you can claim up to 20 per day which is very important it lets you go ahead and do kind of like the afk part of the game where you're going through these different journeys and you're just kind of needing the do to advance to like the next part in this area instead of actually doing like endless battles and constantly fighting people you're just using do to go ahead and you kind of just progress a few steps in this and you'll see the little percentage mark at the top as you go ahead and do this you're going to gain these treasure ruins which are really important so you definitely don't want to overlook this. These treasure ruins help out all of your characters. So all your characters are getting the HP buff, the attack buff, the defense buff. So this is like one of the most important parts of the game. There's also a ridiculous amount of events going on because it is global launch. There's a ridiculous amount of ways to spend money too. I mean, there's, there is a lot of ways to top up. We have the seven day event where we can get 50 summoning tickets at the bottom right here for our collection. We also have a red treasure chest. So we can go ahead and choose a specific character that we want, which is going to help out a lot. That's it for right now. If this video performs well and you guys are interested in it, next time I'll do a dedicated video on a specific faction and I'll talk about which characters you want to start building out on, which characters to put for your wish list. Um, you know, all that stuff specifically for different factions. Otherwise, stay happy, stay safe, and I'll see y'all later. Peace.